Whistler's Brandywine Falls is closed to the public during the winter season, but there's a way you can see this majestic frozen waterfall without getting into any trouble. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't look down! <laughs> we are Nat and Max, and in today's PC travel vlog, we are going to show you what you need and how you can find one of Whistler's frozen waterfalls. Good morning from a small town called Horseshoe Bay. This is not our destination today. We just wanted to grab some breakfast, so we popped by a Starbucks. And we just wanted to enjoy this beautiful sunrise. So Horseshoe Bay is one of the main ferry terminals here in Metro Vancouver if you wanted to go to Vancouver Island or to Bowen Island. You can see the ferry over there. Someone's already eating. I haven't had my breakfast yet. <laughs> now, before we head on out to Brandywine Falls, we wanted to check out this raid spot here in Horseshoe Bay. I guess every Vancouverite has been talking about this hidden spot, right? And only the locals know about this place. Yeah, let's go check it out. Are you there yet? <laughs> <laughs> We're just walking in the side of the road here. We're trying to find that spot. <laughs> Let me check first. It's here. Of a doom sky, darling, we find love, and of love, and of love. Will we find love at the end? Love the end. The end of <laughs> Hold my hand. It's <laughs> a struggle. <laughs> Wait, I'll hold on the <laughs> Okay. Right, you good? So that was a fun little hidden spot. And it's nice because it's overlooking the town of Horseshoe Bay. And plus you can see the BC ferries going along. But you will find other locals there too sometimes. So either come early or at night if you want to get good pictures or just maybe just socialize with them. As long as you maintain six feet. And also there's not exactly a parking lot for it, so we had to pull over on this pullout and just hike our way there. Now off to Brandywine Falls. I fell into deep like I'm ten tons trying to float. Oh my head above the water, pressure building up in my throat. I know. As we head to our destination. The roads were slowly becoming icy, but good thing we have winter tires. I'll take you home. So, we decided to invest on some crampons. If you don't know what a crampon is, it's this metal spike that you put on your hiking shoes. That's in feet! And it basically is your protection for sliding accidentally on any snow or ice. Ta-da! This is like $35 from Amazon. So the parking lot at the Brandywine Falls is temporarily closed. That's why we're here at Whistler Bungee because there's another trail going to the falls. But you have to be careful because there's only limited parking here at the Whistler Bungee. That's why we just parked at the side of the road. Now to get to the trail, you have to cross the Whistler Bungee Bridge, which I've done before, but Max hasn't. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> Are you ready? No. <laughs> I can see the bottom. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, don't look down! 
Don't look down. Now, the last time I was here was with my brother. He tried the Whistler bungee. This is awesome. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how you, you guys good? You guys jumping? No, we're just trying oh, to. Just passing through. <laughs> you survived! Yes! We haven't started yet and we feel really warm, right? Yeah. One thing that we notice is the trail is not well marked you would kind of follow the footmarks on the snow. Sometimes you'll see some signage, but not that much. Good thing there's internet connection, so we're just having Google Maps running behind the scenes. One thing we recommend is wear a hat and bring your sunglasses, because mostly the trail is bare. There's not much trees around. I think it's mostly because they cut off the trees for the power lines like this. I think we made the right decision on buying crampons for this hike because every person that we've come across to was wearing one. It's better safe than sorry, right? Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's an owl or what. <laughs> it doesn't sound like an owl. It's like a door. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it's mating season right now for owls. You think we're gonna see one? I hope so, I wanna see one. I think that's a lookout, right? Wow! That's just one thing that never gets old here in BC. Snow capped mountains. So nice. Stay on trail. Yeah, it's a pretty steep way down. Yeah. We're kind of going through this narrow, windy trail right now, and it's kind of going down. And one thing is in my mind it's gonna be a struggle going back up. I think we're close. I'm starting to hear water. Oh, uh, icicle? Yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of them dripping off a wall, so I got it. It's really clean looking. Wow. Did Takes you go good. down the falls? No, oh, no, no. no. Yeah. There's just, just a, a beautiful lookout. Look yeah. You'll see him. Wow. Yeah. The falls is pretty far though. No, not no, far. Not maybe, far right? maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah, you're almost there. Close. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, oh, that's why it's getting melty, but. Um. Oh, good idea. Yeah, this is my yeah, uh, snack, good. my lollipop. <laughs> Love it. All right, enjoy. See you guys. Enjoy. We always seem to, when we meet other people along the trail, that we ask how long is it before the destination. And apparently we're not that far now. Only 10 minutes. <laughs> well, the two said it's only 10 minutes more. So this is where she found it. Almost like a wand. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little one. Kind of looks like one of those Christmas lights that you put on your roof. So if you guys are gonna come from the Brandywine Falls parking lot, you are gonna cross this railroad crossing. But for us, since we came from Whistler Bungee, we are just gonna go turn left here. Falls Lookout is 300 meters from here. We made it! It's here, eh? There's actually people down there. Do you want to go down? 
I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's essentially two lookout points here at Brandywine Falls. One is the main one which we saw earlier and we're gonna go to this one, which is about a two minute walk from the other one. I think it's this one. That's or so here. Close by. <laughs> yeah, it's very short, right? So essentially there's a way to get down to the lower fall, to the lower canyon but we saw a bunch of marks saying it's prohibited not only online but here they're saying there's a $115 fine if, you, if they see you crossing the mark and since we don't have the money and the time to do it today that's gonna be it for this vlog and it's still possible to hike Brandywine Falls even if it's closed this winter but before you guys do, make sure you guys do your research buy some crampons and bring some snacks if you guys are new here, make sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!